here's an important principle for being more authentic in our business and in our marketing. Hold loosely to our agenda and keep returning to the highest agenda, which is service or however you want to phrase your higher agenda in your life and therefore also in your business. For me, that's service. Um, and so let me give you an example. When somebody is a prospective client, they've contacted me, they're interested in my services. Of course, that's wonderful, um, but I hold loosely to having to make them into a client. I hold loosely to that. You know, some people, marketers, salespeople might teach you, you've got to follow up and wear them down until they buy from you, until they hire you, right? And, and unfortunately, that works. It does work. You can, you can wear people down and find, like, fine, I'll give it a try, okay? Now, it, it works. I, you know, that's why it's taught. But there's also another way that works. And the other way is to hold loosely to your short-term agenda of having them become a client and hold fast to your longer-term agenda, your higher agenda. In, in my case, I would say service. And so when I do follow up with that person, First of all, I therefore don't have the agenda of wearing them down with 17 follow-up emails, right? When I follow up with them, it's occasional. <laughs> and my dog here, Buddy, is running around crazy. Oh, right now, I guess he's kind of tired. Um, I hold the agenda of serving them, and when I do follow up with them, which I might do occasionally, okay, I'm doing it as a, as, a, as a service of convenience and courtesy, letting them know that, oh, I, I do currently have an opening in my, in my client roster, um, and kind of as a service of reminding them in case they forgot that this was available and, uh, or, or they had questions but just hadn't uh, taken the time to ask me what the question, ask me the questions yet. Does he mind me? So the, the follow-up, it's, it's the, the actual email might look the same as another salesperson or look similar, but the intention is different. And I think my prospects sense that energy of, of, of a different intention, right? Okay, let me give you another example. I don't, uh, a lot of people feel like, oh, I've got to get people on the email list. The people who are my social media uh, audience, like I've got to do whatever I can to capture their email address, get them on my email list. And that is a short-term agenda, right? And yes, I agree, having people on your email list is better than just having a social media audience because with your email list, you have better control of reliably contacting them, being able to see the metrics of how many people opened it, which, which people opened and clicked. I, I get it, it's great. it's great to have people on your email list. But I hold loosely to that short-term agenda of capturing their email address with a lead magnet or whatever it is, and I hold fast to the long-term agenda of service. And so what I do is I don't really care if people join, I don't care if you join my email list. I hope you do because then I can more reliably connect with you and contact you. But if you don't, that's okay because what I care more about is service and I hope that I can keep producing videos and writing articles that, ser that truly serve you. And if I keep doing that, what happens is I will have the gift of your attention, right? And that's really even more important than joining my email list because if I have the gift of your, if I have your trust and your attention, then you're going to keep seeking out my content even if you're not on my email list. And eventually one day you'll probably say, well, it's more convenient for me to receive George's emails instead of trying to find his stuff on social media. So do you see what I mean? But it's the idea of holding loosely to that short-term agenda. Yes, you, you have that short-term agenda because it somehow directs your business strategy, but really you, are, you care more about that long-term agenda of service or expression or whatever your longer-term higher agenda is, and that will allow you to be more authentic in your business. Your audience will sense that from you, and you'll enjoy your business more, which makes it more sustainable as well. You'll keep doing it, which will increase your skills and increase your relationship with your audience.